Hey everybody, welcome back to Thistle Hill Farmstead. Today I'm going to be doing a little review on this Airversa uh, oil atomizer. Now what this thing does is you put some scented oil in it and you can turn it on and set the duration and the interval and it'll puff out or it'll atomize this scented oil to freshen up your house or your car or RV or wherever you happen to have it. Now my wife purchased this on Amazon and I will put a link to this in the description of this video and it will be a paid affiliate link. So if you happen to pick it up, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but we get a little bit of revenue uh, from the sale. Now I did an unboxing on this unit also and I will also put a link to that video in the description of this video. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and uh, get some details on it. So first of all, let's see how big it is. It's about five inches in height and it is about three inches in diameter. Now this is a small unit uh, compared to some of the ones we saw online, but it does a really good job. So, uh, and, it, and it's very um, frugal on the amount of oil it uses. That's the right word. It uses a very small amount of oil. Um, so um, let's take a look at the unit a little more. You'll see here on the front, it has a USB connector, USB-C, and this is for charging the unit up. So it is battery operated. So if you plug the USB uh, connector into it, you see this little red light on the top that comes on. Now that'll stay red until the battery gets fully charged and then it will turn green. Now you can run this um, little thing as long as it's the battery's charged or if you have it plugged in. So we've done it both ways and some units uh, we've had or some other appliances we had will not let you run them while you're charging. Um, but this one is uh, nice that you can actually run it while you're charging it up. But you plug it in, you charge it until this light turns green. That means it's fully charged and then you can uh, start running it from there. Or we can run it from here even though it's not fully charged. Uh, as long as you have some battery charge there, it will run. Now on the top, it's got a couple of settings. You have a low, medium, and high setting. That is the duration of the time that the atomizer will actually puff out the uh, scented oil. And then you have a duration for how often you want it to run. Uh, so if we have it set to an hour, then and we have it set to low, it's going to uh, run on the low mode every hour. Now what these low, medium, and high settings here do is that is the time it, that it actually runs so on low it'll run five seconds on medium it will run 15 seconds and on high it will run 30 seconds so it will puff out the uh, uh, oil or the mist for uh, 30 seconds and then as i said the one hour two hour three hour is the interval in which it runs so to turn it on well, first of all, let's look at the um, at the unit as far as how you put oil in it. You see this little cap on the top. Let me turn it to the bottom. There is a hole in the bottom. If I push up with this with my finger, you see it slides this top part out that contains the oil. Now, this is a little glass um, bottle. It has a straw in the bottom of it that sucks up the oil, and then you screw that onto this top part. Now, this top part has a... Um, like a little key area here, if you can see that. It's a groove, and that groove mates up with a groove inside of the barrel here. So that way you can't put it in wrong. You see it will not go in like this until I turn it, until that groove mates up with the groove in the unit, and then it'll just slide in. So that keeps you from putting it in incorrectly. And uh, you can push it up from the bottom or kind of pull up on the top here. And then it's got a little port here that mates up with the uh, port inside that uh, blows air through it to itemize, to atomize it. Now the other nice thing about this is it's, um, it's not 
a mist or a liquid. It's, there's no water involved in this. It just atomizes the oil, and uh, that's how you get your fragrance. So it's not going to wet anything that it sits on. And my wife was concerned about that initially, and she had this sitting in a little tray. Uh, but once we used it for quite a while, we realized it does not leak. Uh, so we don't have to worry about putting it in any kind of tray. And on the bottom, it has uh, three little rubber feet that keeps it from marring any surface that it may be sitting on or sliding around easily. So let's uh, turn it on and see how it operates. So to turn it on, you have to long tap or hold down on the on off switch. Now these are kind of touch feel. They're not really switches. You won't feel any kind of click or indention when you touch these. They're kind of like your phones where you just long tap. So I'm going to hold down on the on off button. And that also sets it to medium. And I'm not sure if you can see it puffed out a little bit of, of um, the fragrance there. Now if I hold this again, it will go to uh, the medium. I'm sorry, I think I said it starts off on medium. It starts off on low. Then if I hold it again, it will go to medium. And this time I just need to touch it. Now it went to medium and you see the, the, the fragrance here puffing out. Now it's gonna run that for 15 seconds on medium. And you hear it's very quiet also. And then if I touch it again, it's going to go to 30 seconds. And uh, it'll send out the fragrance for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it back on low. And I think it uh, will go ahead and run regardless. Okay, there we go. And then if I want to set the timer, then I just push the little clock symbol here. And now I have it set for... Every hour, it's going to run for five seconds. If I press it again, every two hours, it will run for five seconds. Or every three hours, it will run for five seconds. So I can adjust the interval of uh, how I want it to run. Or I can turn the timer off, as you see. There's no timer. And then it will run. I can run it just as I walk by if I press it and say, hey, I want a little shot of fragrance, it will run like that. Okay, that's gonna go for 15 seconds. Okay, and then again, if I wanted to put it on one hour every 15 seconds, that's how it's gonna run. So let me, to turn it off, you do a long tap or a long hold on the button. So you hold the button down and you saw now it went off. And when I say hold the button down, you really just put your finger over the button. There really is no kind of button there. And then to refill it, you just take the cartridge out, you screw this bottle off, and you have to buy your own oils and you can get whatever uh, different fragrances you want. My wife got a couple of different ones to try and I think she's found one that she really likes, so we're going with that now. But I'll put a link also uh, to some of those fragrances, how you purchase them. And they come in a large bottle. Uh, I'm just glancing around here. I don't see where she has it here. But it, they come in a fairly large bottle. And like I said, this thing is very frugal with the amount of, uh, of oil that it uses. So it runs a long time. We've run this. Uh, since we've had it a couple of weeks now, I think on this one fragrance here, and you can see it's hardly used anything out of this uh, bottle. So it a uh, little bit of oil goes a long way. So there you go. That's the uh, the review of this Air Versa uh, oil atomizer, and I really you can see my fingerprints on it now. I really. Uh, do like this product it works really well uh, it's a small form factor you can see how small it is and I did give you the dimensions on it and it's quiet it runs uh, unattended and you can walk by and you get a fresh uh, smell from the oils that it puts out so it's uh, it's really nice I like it so there you go um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll be glad to try to answer any questions you may have. And as I said, we will put a link 
in the description below. It is a paid Amazon link. It doesn't cost you anything else, but we get a little bit of uh, revenue off of any clicks that you may do to purchase. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. I really appreciate every subscription I get. It helps the channel out a lot. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. That helps out also. Remember the comment section is always good. And as always, thanks again for joining us here on Thistle Hill Farmstead. We'll see you next time.